Rylan was born yesterday at the Rosie Hospital in Cambridge. He's Natasha's first child. By the time he's old enough to have children, Britain's population will be 73 million. The UK's population boomed from around 10 million at the start of the Industrial Revolution to 38 million a century later, almost a fourfold increase. But the rate of growth then slowed, reaching only 59 million by this millennium. And projections suggest continued slow growth, 73 million by 2035. But that hides a huge problem. The population is getting older. Today, 17% of us are over 65. But by 2035, 23% of the population will be elderly. It doesn't really matter if the UK's population is ageing, so long as people are healthy and active and able to contribute and are not a health burden uh, on the uh, society. If, however, we have growths in very frail elderly people towards the end of their lives, uh, then I think we have much more of a concern. We went to the Dorset coast, where around a quarter of the population is already over 65, and asked people there what they thought of a future Britain with 73 million people. Obviously, there's going to be a big problem for um, financing pensioners like ourselves. Uh, as regards the increase in population, the immigration, because they're younger, working age people, in fact, helps this problem. For my children and my grandchildren, the, the, the prospects are, are bad. First, their tax will have to pay for pensions and benefits, and for every extra million of us, we'll need an extra 10 billion in taxes. Then there's health. Just one example. More old people will mean more cancer. One estimate says a third more cases to treat by 2020. And perhaps the hottest political potato? Half of the growth in our population in the next three decades will be because of inward migration. And immigrants' taxes could be crucial in meeting the challenge of the elderly. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.